Hi Vogue, it's Princess Nokia and today I'm going to be doing my goddess morning skin routine. This isn't something that I do every day but this is probably something that I do like weekly just to preserve my skin, make sure that I'm always doing and adding things to my regimen that prevent aging and prevent um, dry or like lackluster skin. So let's start the routine. I'm going to use my Mario Badescu seaweed cleansing soap just a little bit a lot of people go to sleep with their makeup still on or halfway on or not taken off properly and that is probably like the biggest mistake you can make with skincare so you always have to make sure that the dirt in your pores are properly removed I don't care if I've been out till like 7 in the morning you best believe I'm taking this makeup off okay so now my skin is limpia honey my skin is clean after like a really crazy night, I wake up with a puffy face. My face looked like puffer fish. Like. So usually when I wake up, I take ice and I depuff my skin. And I specifically go under my eyes and on my eyelids because that's where I get puffy the most. So I've got my Aztec face mask clay. This is for deep pore cleansing and I use a paintbrush to distribute it and I'm gonna take a little bit of this powder you, you really don't need a lot you just take like a little bit add a little water some people add apple cider vinegar you mix it up I love doing routines like this like if it's cooking or doing my makeup it makes me feel closer to you know myself as a person as a woman and I'm a Caribbean person so anything with a bowl and a spatula you can pretty much find me doing you make a little paste you know you put a little magic into it so before that you got to bust one of these out honey you're doing yourself a service collagen um, helps uh, maintain and preserve the elasticity in your face the more collagen the better there is such a thing as too much collagen we won't get into that Honey, you will catch me on a plane with these, on a train, on a bus. I've been in first class with these on like, yes, I will have a wine. And then I let this dry for about 15 minutes. If I'm at home, I'll put this on and I usually will probably clean my house, listen to salsa music, probably cook a nice healthy vegan Caribbean meal. That's like my me time. Like Saturday, wake up, play salsa, clean the whole house. You know, I love to dance while I clean. It makes me feel happy, it makes me feel good. And I got my little broom and I'm like dum, 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 dum. I still got all of that. So we're gonna peel them off. You see it's dried. The value of a woman is not based on her outward appearance. So if you have acne, if you have lines, girl, I got them too. Um like Embrace your lines, embrace the wrinkles, you know, embrace the discoloration because what else are you gonna do? You're gonna keep hiding it? You can't. I like to always refresh myself and my face with my sprays. And I happen to like the Mario Badescu. Um, this is the lavender and chamomile, and this is the rose and aloe. I suffer from severe skin discoloration and I suffer from eczema. So my skin gets really patchy in the winter, especially on my body. I'm very lucky, thank goddess and Beyonce, that I haven't really had it on my face. Um, but I have to spray this on my face and around my body um, so I don't scratch. So my body is relieved by chamomile and lavender and aloe, which are natural plants and herbs that aid in discoloration and inflammation. So I do that and then I do like a nice little rose one. Mm, the rose helps mm, make me feel all delicious and juicy and fertile. So a big part of my beauty routine is um, steaming in my face. If I'm especially drunk or hungover or I really need to snap my face back into cuteness, I get, um, I get one of these steamers and I hold it to my face all your stress, maybe all the bad food that you've eaten during that week, it will all come out. So um, if you're Caribbean or Puerto Rican, you probably know Cafe Bustelo really well. It's an espresso coffee and it's a really dark roast. 
and your grandma probably makes it in the morning for you. And in my country, in Puerto Rico, it's um, considered a very neighborly thing to drop by people's homes and always offer or have a cup of cafe. So um, coffee is an integral part of the Caribbean and of the islands and of my culture and I take this into my beauty routine. So I'm gonna just use a little bit. The grains in the espresso are, are a really great exfoliant for my skin. Um, and I'm gonna use this special uh, jojoba oil that I got from Morocco. I just add a little bit. So you don't wanna overdo it with oil so it's not too abrasive and then you add a little water um, to the mix to neutralize the oil so it's not as harsh. All this, and I'm gonna distribute it around my skin. You can use any type of like, um, textured grain so you can use sugar you can use um, other things of the nature all the dead skin all the dry skin all the patches you just you get her out but not too hard because then you're gonna make yourself red and nobody needs that that neck is really important you start catching that gobble gobble girl and it's over for you i do this before any like big makeup application because you don't want cakey, dried up skin under that fat beat. The queens will read you. I even like to do a little bit on the, the eyelid, you know, like the eyelids get really dry. It's a, it's a part of the skin that people never pay any attention to. Get them eyelids, girl. Get them eyelids like your life depended on it. Okay, I'm ready. Cool. <sighs> Okay, now I've washed the scrub off my face. And then I just finish it up with my daily moisturizer, which is the Margaret Badescu Buttermilk Moisturizer Herbal Hydrating Serum. And that is my skin regimen. I wasn't allowed to wear makeup or nail polish growing up, so I actually didn't start um, experimenting with like good makeup until I was about 24. Five, and I have really learned and studied how to do my makeup properly. So I'm gonna add a little primer to my face just in case I want to put any type of product around it. I like using the e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer. There's a lot of primers on the market, but um, this one's my favorite. It doesn't have that like off-white color that kind of looks just a little weird to me sometimes. Usually when I wake up and put on my makeup, um, for the day I don't like to do foundation because I feel like that should be saved for nighttime or for shows I really like just like having a natural face so that's cute and I usually take a shade that is three or four shades lighter than myself um, because I like to get like a really crisp like under eye fresh look and be very careful how you do the rest of your makeup because if you got too much concealer under your eye and you get a flash photo, honey, you're gonna look like Casper. I know, because I have been there. Right now, I'm using the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfection Liquid. Um, it was recommended to me by a sweet friend who does makeup. And I said, listen, girl, I just wanna have like this nice bronzy golden glow every day. I don't wanna look too done up. I like looking natural, look, looking like myself. Um, and I just wanna look like juicy, fertile, and fab. That's all. So I take this and I come around here. Just make sure that it's really blended in. Get into the right light. Try to see your makeup in natural lighting, bathroom lighting, fluorescent lighting, and on your phone. Because different lightings, like this, it looks good to me now, but I could go into a different light and it could look absolutely mad. So just make sure that you blend perfectly, honey. Blend until you can't blend no more. Then I've been experimenting with my eyebrows. I know that I've had this ridiculous relationship with the history of my eyebrow upkeep. So, as of the last year, I've been having some good brows. I can't lie, I've learned how to do my brows really good. I have been really inspired by this like brushed up natural brow look. I use Anastasia's uh, soft brown brow pomade and I just come in with an angle brush very lightly and I just, I fill in what's not there. 
boom, gorgeous and natural. You don't need nothing else. So I like coming in with a little glossy blush. So I like using this flesh red colored gloss pot and it's good for your cheeks and your eyes. I do like a little nice highlighter. Um, I really like this palette from Juvia's Palace. It's a black owned business. Um, it caters to women of color. And um, I think that this is really beautiful to see on a cover of makeup. So I'm gonna come in with a little contour just to really give me um, a gorgeous cheekbone. So I come in, you start from the top and then come down just a little bit. And then you blend it out in your face. So you just real quick, give you a little touch of color, you know, you know. I've actually been preparing for my new album, so I've been doing a lot of working with my team for the last few months, and that requires a lot of running around New York City and a lot of a lot of meetings and a lot of meeting with different people. And I've always had a problem with tardiness, and you know that's not nice, no matter how famous you are. So it's always important for me to just have a quick beauty routine just really quickly so that I can look cute, I can look presentable, I can look good enough, but I'm not taking too much time on myself and making people wait or just making my morning longer than it should be. So I take this little highlight and I sculpt my face just a little bit. Okay, I've done almost everything. I'm gonna draw on my famous freckles. I have a lot of freckles on my nose, on the outskirts of my cheeks. What I do is I come in with um, a regular brown pencil um, and I like to highlight my natural freckles and just make them a little bit more visible. There's so many great beauty girls and makeup artists and regular people that they do like a full face, they do light, they do different colors. People use like up to four colors for their freckles, so there's like an actual like range of color. I'm kind of basic, so I'm just using this natural brown. They're probably gonna get rubbed off within a few hours, so who cares anyway? It's like a constellation on your face. I love a nice, gorgeous, full brown lip. I'm still trying to figure out how to keep my eye, my lip liner on all day. You women are witches. I don't know how this stays on all day. Honey, I'll talk and it's gone. I'm gonna just do a light line. So I'm gonna naturally blend it and it's gonna just look like all one shade. And I got this nice nude. And I'll end it with some lip gloss. So then I get my little tub of gel. Listen, if you're one of the girls, you know about Eco Gel. You know about the Eco Style Gel. So you get your gel and you get your edge brush. Sold exclusively at beauty supplies around the hood everywhere. Um, and I come in and just do a little edge, a little edge control. Sometimes my edges be playing games with me and I can't get them right. So I got my little edges now. And this is my, my look. I've done my face, I've done my makeup. Bye Vogue.